It's Wednesday, February 18th, 2015. Good morning. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer from NeoWeather.com. Some scattered snow showers for the day. We'll take a look at the latest radar in just a moment. It's going to be so cold that it's not even funny. How cold will it be? And when will the North Pole finally leave Ohio? Get all the details and much more starting right now. We're tracking, yes, more snow moving into the area today. We do have snow generally moving west to east across central and southern Ohio. However, it is starting to build up here in northern Ohio this morning, and we're seeing some light snow showers from time to time in spots. There's a very strong cold front out to the west. We'll see the temperatures in a moment just west of that, and we're going to see some more development of snow along that later this afternoon and this evening. We'll see that in the future cast in just a moment. As we look across the rest of the country, the big news is, is this pool of very cold Arctic air coming our way look at this temperatures single digits and when we say that we're right around zero to well below zero minus 10 minus 15 not uncommon up in the northern plains and the western great lakes it's going to be like that for the next several days we'll see that in the extended forecast otherwise cold just about everywhere i mean even 30s down in the texas along the gulf coast 30s in the northern florida 50s and 60s for the rest of florida that's chilly for them a few places even started in the lower 40s there as well so very chilly across a good portion of the united states this morning Temperatures across northeastern Ohio this morning, generally in the middle teens. Dover, New Philadelphia is the warm spot, if you will, checking in at 19. Once you factor in the winds, the wind chills shown in pink here are generally right around zero, a few degrees either side of that. Uh, Dover, New Philadelphia winds are calm, so no wind chill. Eight in Youngstown, five in Ashtabula, the coldest wind chills right now. Mansfield and Cleveland both checking in at minus one. These wind chills are going to get worse through the afternoon and into the day on Thursday. You'll see why coming up. Our almanac for today, yesterday's high 18, yesterday's low was minus 8. That did set a record at Cleveland Hopkins. Look at our averages, 38 and 24. We are 20 degrees below the average high for this time of year. And unfortunately, there's no relief in sight right now. Our record high, 62. The record low for tonight is minus 5, and we could break that again. No snow for yesterday. Just for the month, we're at 18.6 inches of snow, folks. That's a lot of snow for one month, especially the short month of February. Sunrise is at 7.19 a.m. and sunset is at 6.05 p.m. We do have a wind chill advisory in effect across the area from midnight tonight through noon on Friday. Wind chills during this time could range from minus 15 to minus 30. And highs on Thursday are going to be right around zero on Friday. We're only going to make it up uh, to about six degrees or so. So it's going to be very cold out there. And if you do head out, you're going to want to bundle up because these wind chills are very dangerous. It's only going to take a few minutes for frostbite to start developing. By Friday morning, school cancellations do look very likely. You'll want to stay tuned for the latest. On our future cast, we're going to show the snow moving through this afternoon, and then we're going to see some uh, lake effect pick up behind us. As this Arctic front comes through, we're going to see a few snow showers redevelop here late this afternoon, early this evening, especially along the lake shore. Could get a little squally, and then we're going to see a lake effect band develop along the west side of Cleveland. So Lorraine, Medina County, western Cuyahoga, you could see some snow for a few hours. Then we get into uh, the midnight hours past that. We start clearing out. We could see a few snow showers redevelop right around lunchtime Thursday afternoon. It's going to be very cold across the area, too. So uh, if you're heading out, do bundle up and be prepared for a little bit of snow as well. Accumulation-wise, generally an inch or less across the area. And then if you get under one of these little lake effect uh, squalls later on tonight, you could pick up a quick half inch to an inch. So generally, uh, one to possibly two inches of snow in some areas that's going to be where the snow can persist our forecast for today features snow showers will be kind of on and off through the day they'll be very light again accumulations through the day i think will generally be under half an inch a high only 16 degrees winds will be out of the west at 10 to 15 miles an hour so wind chills will be right around zero through much of the day Akron and Canton, not too much different here. We're going to see some light snow showers possible through the day. Accumulations here will be very light, maybe a coating if we're lucky. Again, a high also around 16. 
Overnight tonight, we do see a better chance for snow, especially uh, north along the lakeshore and west of Cleveland if that band does develop. Now, places are going to clear out towards daybreak, and we do have some very cold air moving in. Morning lows right around minus 8. Wind chills ranging from minus 15 to minus 25 by Thursday morning. So we'll have to watch for maybe some school delays and cancellations, and we could set a new record low as well. On our seven-day forecast, Thursday's high, not very warm, only a whopping three degrees with a few snow showers possible, generally in the afternoon. High pressure moves into the region Thursday night and Friday. That's going to clear out skies, really bring in that Arctic air. Minus 15 for a low on Thursday. Wind chills Friday morning could range from minus 25 to minus 35. Again, this is when our school cancellations look to be possible. Mainly sunny on Friday with a balmy high of 6. That's not a bad recovery from minus 15. Uh, Friday night, we're going to see some snow begin to work in towards Saturday morning. Snow showers Saturday morning. Look at this a high of 31. And we're going to have to watch this system for the weekend very closely as it could impact their weather greatly. Right now, Saturday night, temperatures will be right around 31 to 33 degrees. And we could see a mix of precipitation Overnight Saturday into early Sunday before everything transitions to snow. A high of 32 very early will come crashing down to below zero Sunday night with a few lingering snow showers. And then we're back in the freezer, folks, for the beginning of the next week. Partly cloudy for your Monday, a high of 10. A few snow showers on Tuesday next week with a high of 17.